Here we are again with DVWA. Login with admin, password, and go. Now we'll just check the security level. As we're sort of beginning with things, we'll set our security level to low. Uh, just click on the drop down list box on DVWA security, select low, click submit. Now we're going to look at uh, command injection. So we'll go into that area of the application. Now this is uh, the kind of thing that sometimes gets offered. So we're going to be uh, pinging a server. So we type in an IP address. 127.0.0.1 is a local machine IP address. So just type that in and click Submit. and we get a typical response back. So this gives us a hint that there's something going on passing a command through to the command line and this looks especially like a Windows system output which I'll use to sort of guess the next bit. So again pinging 127.0.0.1 and then put an ampersand which is a, uh, a shift 7 on the keyboard and type DIR. Now if this was Linux then I put a semicolon and then an LS. But I've guessed that this is Windows so I'll click Submit and Bazinga. I get the same material from the ping command but beneath it is a bit more information. So I'll just zoom in a little and have a quiz at this. So volume in drive C has no label, directory of C users, Harry WWC, desktop, XAMP, HTDocs, DVWA, vulnerabilities, exec. And there's a couple of files there. So you can see we got a little bit of information out of our DOS or our CMD DIR. So let's uh, put in two dots after that and let's have a look at our parent directory. <coughs> and you'll see that we've got a little bit more information. Now the um, there appears to be a problem with the outputting. As you can see it's not going over to the left hand column. But that's okay, we can still see the information. So there's some directories there. Windows calls them folders and a couple of files, three files. So that could be interesting to have a poke around, have a look at a little bit later. But I'm going to have a look at the parent directory of our parent directory. So I'm going up another level. So I've got uh, dir, two dots, a backslash, then two more dots. Click submit. And again, the ping output's the same, and the directory listing is a bit more interesting. So I'll just have a squeeze here. So some a couple of directories, and quite a few more files. So there's a few PHP files, an icon, and there's a directory called config. So that could be interesting. So let's go and have a look inside config. So again we bring up the dir command and we go into config. Now I'm actually going to get rid of the ping output and I'm going to redirect it to null. So that greater than sign nu double l redirects it to a special device called the null device also known as the bit bucket. So that's where that ping information will go to the bit bucket and we'll see the DIR of the config directory without the ping stuff at the top. So click Submit and notice the ping stuff has actually disappeared. It, the com ping command ran but we then redirected its output to the bit bucket so we don't actually see it. So we're dealing with what we we need to see and we find an interesting file called config.inc.php There's also the copy of it. 
that is there, but let's have a look at config ink PHP. So what we're going to do is use a command called type type, which basically types out the contents, and on the end of it, backslash config dot ink dot php, and submit, and nothing. Well, actually, not quite nothing. Let's have a look at the source. So view this page of source. And there's all the output there. And here we go. See the highlighted stuff in green. PHP code. And what's more, we have DB database, DB user, and DB password. So we've just proceeded to get ourselves the keys to the kingdom for the database just by traversing the directory tree and typing the contents of a file. We can go elsewhere on the system so we can do a directory of the root of the C drive so dir space c colon backslash uh, redirect the ping output to null on this one and click submit Uh, slash A is going to give me all the files, so hidden ones as well. And you see here is a directory listing of the root folder, root directory of my C drive. So you could use that, you could explore. Um, one thing you might look for might be an INET pub directory for IIS. Uh, or other interesting directories. Now we log out and 